Let's read together. Within the bustling heart of a steampunk metropolis, where smokestacks kissed the smog-filled sky and gears whizzed in intricate harmony, lived a peculiar soul named Finn. Unlike the grimy engineers and soot-covered street vendors, Finn's workshop resonated with a different kind of energy. Cobwebs danced with clockwork butterflies, test tubes bubbled with iridescent hues, and the air hummed with a symphony of clangs and ticks. Finn, you see, wasn't your average mechanic. He was a clockwork alchemist. His creations weren't mere machines. They were imbued with life, fueled by stolen moonlight and alchemical concoctions, brewed under the watchful eyes of brass owls. There was Pip, the teacup-sized automaton with wings of hummingbird feathers, forever flitting about with urgent whispers into Finn's ear. And then there was Zephyr, a majestic clockwork griffin with gears hidden beneath its shimmering feathers, soaring through the city's clock towers at Finn's bidding. One stormy night, as lightning danced across the metallic skyline, a frantic knock echoed through Finn's workshop. A young woman, drenched and distraught, stumbled in, clutching a broken locket. Her name was Anya, and the locket held the last memory of her late mother, a renowned inventor. Desperate and out of options, she pleaded with Finn to mend it. Driven by empathy and a touch of intrigue, Finn took on the challenge. Anya, captivated by the workshop's wonders, offered to help. Together, they delved into intricate clockwork mechanisms, deciphered cryptic alchemy notes, and hunted for rare components through the bustling underbelly of the city. As they worked, a bond grew between them, fueled by shared curiosity and a love for the extraordinary. Their quest led them to uncover a hidden plot, a power struggle within the city's elite, fueled by stolen alchemical secrets. The locket, they discovered, wasn't just a memento. It held the key to unlocking a powerful clockwork invention capable of manipulating time itself. With Zephyr soaring above, Pip scouting from the shadows, and Anya's ingenuity by his side, Finn faced the city's elite in a thrilling game of wits and clockwork contraptions. In a heart-stopping finale, the workshop became their battleground ears whirring, sparks flying, as Finn's creations defended them against clockwork assassins and mechanized monstrosities. Eventually, Anya's quick thinking and Pip's daring maneuvers allowed them to expose the true mastermind and reclaim the stolen secrets. The city was saved, not by brute force, by the ingenuity of a clockwork alchemist and his extraordinary companions. As dawn painted the sky, Finn stood with Anya and Zephyr, watching the city awaken. The locket ticked softly in Anya's palm, a restored memory and a symbol of their extraordinary adventure. They knew their paths would diverge, but the bond forged in the fires of invention whispers of stolen moonlight, and the symphony of clockwork would forever resonate within them. The end. Make sure to check out my other incredible tales. Goodbye.